Para. Para. Where have you been, you knobber? Well, I'll tell you where I've been. The reason why I haven't been creating any videos, squad or otherwise. I've just bought my first house at 43. What a loser. Yeah, well, I've bought my first house and I'm decorating the whole house. So I'm getting plasters in and ripping out carpets and the whole house is like a construction site. And I've had the radiators taken off, so I've got no eating. So I'm sat here with a massive jacket on, freezing my nuts off. And uh, yeah, I can see my own breath. And I've got no hot water either, so all I need now is a bucket in here for me to piss and shit in. And it'll be the same as being in jail, though they get a better time than we do. So that's the reason why I haven't been doing many videos. Um, but I thought the new Tomb Raider came out. And the last Tomb Raider, I really, really enjoyed it. It was just a fantastic story, great graphics. And it was definitely one of my favourite games. And uh, before we jump in and have a look at the new one... I'll tell you what I've been up to today. I went to a retro fest in Leeds. Um, full of dirty, sweaty peasants. People below our educational quality, shall we say. Dirty, stinking, spotty peasants. Not one fit bit of touch in there. No flange whatsoever, apart from a hot little blonde with hot pants who walked past. I made everybody cream the pants. Now, sort of thing it's old. Anyway, anyway, shut up, let's watch the intro for the new game and I'll tell you more about it when we get in. Make someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience to face the unknown. As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth, it is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. The others, they're done. No amount of money is going to get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's going to be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know! You should stay here with them. Not a chance. Now, I'm going to keep the usual comments of, you know, wanting to rip her knickers off, stick my tongue in her ass, eat a minge, make her suck me off, fuck her from behind doggy style, screaming, biting the neck and pulling her hair, shooting my load all over her face and having to lick me off and suck my balls. But I won't. Look at that! It's amazing! But the snow coming off those peaks is a bad sign. Well, let's crack on. Yes, definitely I would crack off over her, but that's the end of the mucky jokes, let's be serious now. I mean, look at the graphics. There's a little bit of a weird shadow there, but uh, believe me, that's just shadow play on my recording software. The graphics are just brilliant on this game, and the story... I mean, look at graphics. They're very, very nice indeed. I'm not going to be talking through the cutscenes, um, so if you want to join the journey with me... I'm actually going to be turning off the subtitles in a minute because I think it ruins it, hey, and um, it's quite easily here, you're quite easily able to tell what's been going on here. So we're going to w work our way up to the top of this mountain, through this snow. Beautiful, absolutely love this game. Oh shit! You okay? Lost my footing. I'm fine. I think what I will do is I'm just going to increase the sensitivity on the mouse. Give me one sec. Damn, that was close. I really can't praise this game enough. If you like adventure games that have got a real interesting story, that are actually fun to play and quite exciting in certain places. There are lots of, um, you know, quick time events, but they're not those horrible cheesy ones that you get in other games. It's actually really enjoyable and they're never in there just for the sake of it. 
then Tomb Raider really is a game that is going to not only push your PC, but your eyeballs are just going to melt with the quality of these graphics. Tomb Raider really has been reinvented. And the last one was just so different to what we were used to that they basically took an old dying franchise and gave it new life, new tits, new ass. Andy, you said you want to talk about that. Basically, she's got more polygons in the flange area now than probably the original uh, Tomb Raider, any of it put together. So, so far, from what I've played at this, I've done this level already. Um, really, really do enjoy this. Highly recommended indeed. Now grab my hand! Got you! Shit, Lara! You're gonna give me a heart attack! Are you okay? Yeah! Come on! No, that wasn't a glitch on the video. I've actually just turned off the subtitles there, so there was a slight little jump. So we're gonna work our way up here. I do love the fact that the cutscenes are seamless to the gameplay. Sometimes you stand there waiting for the, the actual game to start and it already has, so the, the cutscenes, uh, I don't know whether they're pre-generated in-game or whether it's a video, but they are absolutely seamless. So you can see perfect transition here from outside to inside. Really, really nice lighting effects, especially as we uh, come around this corner here. Really am impressed with the, the graphics in this game and the audio, actually. I do it. I just hope Trinity hasn't beaten us to it. Storm's getting closer. We have a couple hours at most. Should be enough time. We're almost frame rate with a GTX 780 uh, Ti at the minute is around 45 frames a second. So completely and utterly playable. I mean, even at 30 frames a second, uh, this game is is playable. So anything over that is just a bonus. Um, another cutscene. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just as last stretch to the top. All right. Let's see what's up there. <sighs> Feels pretty solid. Oh, Lara. She really is perfect, isn't she? My God, women like her don't exist. Fit. Looks like we Physically fit. Here. Up for adventure. It's the sort of woman I want on my Conquering Mountains uh, other YouTube video where we go hiking. Which, funnily enough, I'm going to be doing a lot more of uh, this year. Obviously, I've got so much to do in this house. I haven't even got any carpet down or anything. I literally have gutted the house. So, I bought this as a bit of a treat, to be honest with you, because it's starting to... Uh, it's starting to grate me a little bit. By the time you've got plasters in and everything else... I mean, I've sat here absolutely freezing my nuts up. I've got one of those little fires next to me, but... I've got no doors on. A mate lent me and uh, not an angle grinder, um, not a jigsaw. Let's go, I'm just going to call it a blade saw. Handy handy, I am not. So I, I needed something to cut. So I whacked all the doors off and chopped them in half. And do you know what? It was so satisfying. <laughs> so, so satisfying. I'm actually looking forward to it, enjoying going to places like IKEA and B&Q now, and I never did before. I own my own house. It's really weird. I've got myself a power tool. Just needed something to screw, leave it Andy, uh, apart from Laura, just needed something, anything, and uh, yeah, enjoy a lot, look at the graphics, I am, I really am, I'll be honest, I only just got that there on the edge, I really am a graphics whore, and uh, let's crack on Laura, let's get to the top of here, and uh, see if we can find this, uh, this oasis, the Forbidden City, or whatever it is up at the top of here. Almost there Laura, you got it! She's got some strength, this girl, isn't she? I don't know if any of you have actually tried bouldering. Bouldering's indoor climbing. It is a lot harder than you think it is. Not only all the skin on your hands comes off. Uh, it gets your upper body absolutely ripped within a month or two. Because you've constantly got your body weight pulling up, which in my case would be about 80k. So, yeah, you soon get fit. I got you! Laura! Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pull you back up! 
I do plan on doing some more squad videos, but at the minute there's nothing new out, apart from the uh, developer podcast that we did recently. Um, we're just going to be waiting for the next update, and we don't think it's going to be from word on the street. Uh, vehicles won't be coming, we know that for a start, so it's just going to be new map iterations, there might be a few new buildings on the maps. The majority of it has been their uh, trying to streamline the animation and the performance side on servers so it's more of a back end stuff so we're not really gonna see that much new. I think games are becoming much and much more now like movies. And anybody who says, you know, when I when I say my PC game, they go, you're a nerd playing little kiddie little kiddie games. I don't think a lot of people actually realise what goes into the games. You know, it's a multi billion dollar now, it's bigger than the movie industry. What goes into these games and how much they are like an interactive movie. And um This is the sort of game I think really if you've got anybody there who doesn't know what games we play and the quality of the games, this is the sort of thing you should put them down in front of. Or The Witcher 3. Something that's got an actual story-led narrative to it. Completely different to what they expect we just do, which is just playing shooting games and other things like that. It is the greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age, we decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? Dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? I believe it does. A truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself.
Hannah! Oh, God! I'm so sorry. What are you doing here? I saw the gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. No lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the Prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was... unwell. No. He was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. But Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. The tomb's in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's tomb, Anna. Hey, we're heading into a war zone now. We better be sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. Supposed to shoot at us. Get us out of here! Shit! Shit! No! 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 beautiful Laura, all hot and sweaty and ready to trot, I shall bid you farewell. It's good to be back. I'm probably not going to be doing as many videos as before. I've got a million and one things to, to do here and I've just kind of lost interest to be honest with you. Not many uh, viewers and a lot of the videos I get up now, like such as the podcast, everybody puts thumbs down. So it's becoming quite clear that it's not really worth my time to do many anymore. People in the community don't appreciate the effort that goes into them so it's not me being bitter it's, I'm just being level headed and just realise it's pointless I'm never going to be able to grow the channel as big as I wanted to so this has been Tomb Raider I hope you've enjoyed this first part I am going to be doing probably I'll upload the rest of them uh, and of course there will be some more squad videos coming when they're ready in the meantime I've been Para and I shall see you in the next video bye bye